side control, or it turns into me here, get it pushed down. I mean, if you think about what I'm doing, right? I mean, I want to get to the other side. It turns into me. Yes, I can come around. Oh, that's all I'm doing. But we want to come around before he puts his back on the mat. I want to take his back to this nice and class. So I want to do this least possible moves as possible. So look, from here, I have this elbow turn. I push down. I immediately lift my left knee over and put it here. Okay. So when I step around, what was that car? When I step around, look, I'm staying low, guys. And see this hand here? I can grab back of the shoulder here and drive it forward like a pry bar. Remember, I keep showing you that a while back. All I want to do is stop him from putting his back in the mat. Secure my harness position. Now I'm going to mature sit. Okay, get ear to ear, sit back. My leg over, go all the way over, and I'm here. Again, guys, I can't finish the fight. I wasn't going to teach some missions tonight, but we'll just show you one quickly from here, but we're not going to drill it because um, we'll wait until... I can't, no fin there, yeah. I can't finish it from here, guys, with the Ezekiel. So, again, when I get to this position here, and I'm shoulder to shoulder, and again, sometimes what happens is, as I bring this hand around to secure the harness, Car is defending. He's, he's not letting me get the harness position. Okay? So look, he's not worried. He doesn't see this hand. So from here, guys, I just feed this one through. My underhook hand. Look, I feed it underneath. Then I grab. I come across. I have the Ezekiel. But remember we talked about staying really, really close, ear to ear. You can't technically finish the Ezekiel from here, but there's too much space. Car can turn into me. Turn into me, bro. Lost it. Go back. So look, from here, when I come underneath, and I got to here, how do I finish it good? I just do exactly what I did before. I churse it, my knee goes up, sit back on my butt, put the leg over, come all the way across, come to here, and have me choke. So, you can't finish from there, guys, right? But we're more worried about the position, okay? Um, we're not going to do the crotch lock and roll tonight because it's just going to eat too much of our time. Um, somebody was asking me about the, it's not be the the guard pass that Wacky was showing us last week, the cut cross pass that we're going to know a counter to it. Um, we'll just do a quick recap of the cut cross pass for those guys that missed it. Again, from barrel position here, or I want to be in safety position. So again, if I'm standing up inside this guard, I mean, Carl knows a little bit of jiu-jitsu. He's going to be controlling my wrists. He's going to be using his legs. He'll have them in here. Again, it'll be bent over. I don't want to be here, this is a bad position. So as a rule, I want my head over my hips. Okay, so look, I'm gonna drive in. I can't have him pulling this arm, I'm gonna glue this elbow to my thigh. And I'm here and I'm squatted, don't worry too much about the foot on the hip. I'm here and my head is above my hips. This is the position I wanna be in. Like he was showing you how to control the hip, I can also grab the gi here. Okay, box principle. Right? When I pass with the cut cross pass, I can't have him turning into me okay? because he's going to play a half guard. So when I go for this pass, i got to keep him flat on his back. I'm using box principle, which is if I pin Carl's far side, okay? if I put all the weight on the side, can he turn into me? No. Can he turn away from me? Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. If I put all the weight on the near side, can he turn away from me? No, can he turn into me? Yeah. And the same goes, guys. Pinning the far side is like lifting the near side. And pinning the near side is like lifting the far side. Don't worry if you haven't quite got this. Micro. So when I do this pass again, and I'm here, and I'm driving forward, and my head is above my hips, okay, and I'm getting control of the pants, okay, so look. I want to separate the legs so I can get one leg to the outside because it's a lot harder to pass the guard if he's got two legs controlling mine. It's hard for me to get double underhook pass and pass from there. So look, from this position, all I'm going to do is push down and get one leg outside. Okay, so look, what am I going to do? I want to put pressure on car, either from here or I can slide this hand into the gi and use my elbow on his far shoulder. Okay, I'm sliding my knee across, eyebrow. Definitely gonna need that groin guard. As I pull up, 
Okay, so look, watch. As I drive, this hand's pulling up. So look, I'm pinning the far side and I'm lifting this side because I don't want them turning into me. So from here, when I, when I drive down this side, I'm pulling in, my knee's coming across. Pressure still here, See when my feet's on the mat, all my weight's on car, and then from here I turn in with side control, here. So again, it's really important guys, the danger of this pass is when I'm here, okay, and I separate, and I get to here, when do I grab his wrist guys? The minute I clear his leg, because right now this is the danger. But once I get my knee across, now I need to clear this because this is going to be pushing at me. It's going to be pushing at my leg, going to be pushing, yeah, to stop me. Just grab it, yeah, exactly. And how did he get his knee in there? Because he's on his side. So I don't want him on his side. I want him on his back. So look, I need to make sure that I've got the lapels, that I'm driving him, and that I'm putting up. And see this hand? It's clearing my body. I'm keeping it away from me. Okay, as I sit through. Here, my basic come across fast. I did that with wacky last week. People, um, a couple of guys just asking me how to do a counter to that, which is pretty sure you want. It's real easy, so car's going to do it really slow. So, when he goes for his cut cross pass, guys, right, he's going to be grabbing this, controlling this. So, what do I want to do? Look, from here, I want to try and get a hold of him. Again, Carl's probably going to have, because he's no base, he's going to put his right foot out, or his left uh, out there. If, bring it back in again. Just bring it in. If he, if he doesn't put his foot out, look, I can just push him over. So again, when he slides his knee across, he's going to have this for base. Yeah. So this leg's based out. Okay. Where has any base now? Right. This way. So look, my hand is going to grab his lapel. Okay. My knee. See my knee that he's sitting on. I'm just going to knee him in the butt. I knee him all the way forward. Okay. Get to my knees, and I'm here. Single leg. Just circle towards his feet. And get side control. Okay. One more time. So I'm here. Going for the cut cross. So look, even if he's just pulled up, guys, look, I just gotta get a hold of the lapel. Switch around. Even if he's just pulled all the way up, I just gotta get a hold of this. He's based this way, he's no base this way. He's pinning this shoulder to the mass, so I can't turn into him. Okay, so look, all I, if I flip him forward, he's either gonna smash his face on the mat or base with this hand. So look, I just knee him in the butt to here. Up to my knees. Secure my single leg. And then circle. Towards his feet. Get side control. Okay guys, try that.